Hello, I am back from Japan and I'm going to film a full day of eating, my first day back, all the foods I'm going to be eating to get me back into keto because um, things got a little interesting towards the end of my holiday, but I'll cover that in another video. So I am getting straight back onto it, no regrets, I had the most awesome time away, loads of videos still to come, but um, I'm going to um, alternate between videos in present time and how I'm getting back into keto and videos from my holiday sharing all the Japanese adventures. So for breakfast I am making fried eggs. I have been craving homemade crispy fried eggs and that is exactly what I'm having with a whole lot of crispy salami as well as some avocado. So that is my big beautiful hearty keto breakfast to get back into it and of course I am also having my hot drink. Let me give it a stir. It looks a bit interesting color. I've got my hot chocolate with butter and my butter kind of tends to float to the top and make this lovely yellow film on top which is not the most attractive in my beautiful Audrey Hepburn mug. So that is my breakfast and I will share with you all of the foods that I have through the day today to get me back into keto and back on the keto train which I absolutely love. So I'm going to have breakfast and I will catch up with you through the day. And this is my lovely lunch. I've got a big tuna salad. So I've got a tin of tuna and underneath a whole bowl full of greens, some spinach, some mayo over there, about a half an avocado and three tiny tomatoes. So that's my lovely big lunch today on my day of getting back into keto. Um, tuna salads have always been my go-to easy lunch and today is no exception. It's time for my snack of the day and it's also the same time I'm filming my seven month update, my seven month keto update. So you may recognize my makeup and clothing because um, I'm not actually sure what order I'm going to upload, whether I'm going to upload this one or my seven month update in what order. But I thought I'd sit down and have a chat with you anyway because I'm going to go over in my seven month update um, how I went keeping keto while away or not, uh, you'll just have to watch to find out. And I'm getting back into full keto now, um, but I'm still having little bits. So my afternoon snack that I'm having is chocolate that I got while I was away on holiday. Um, you've got to see the portion size. I mean, this maybe is just incredible. Look at these teeny little portion size. Okay, now I have to open it up as well to show you how teeny these pieces are. And I'm probably gonna have like two or three of them as my little afternoon snack but I'm gonna have them after I'm done filming because I don't wanna wreck my face with chocolate. So just thought I'd film this quickly first and show you I'm gonna have two to three of these as my afternoon snack um, once I am done filming my seven month update, which I'm gonna film in a minute. Um, and so yeah, I'm getting back into it as you see through my day. I'm eating more and more keto food, getting into it, not beating myself up, beating myself up over what happened on my holiday um, and yeah it's been awesome sharing the journey with you and I'm having such fun editing all the videos from my holiday and sharing everything with you and there's still a few more to come but I'm going to kind of pace myself and alternate between these videos um, in the present time and videos from my holiday as well um, so as I said I don't know <laughs> what order I'm going to be uploading them in so I may already have the seven month update in which case I will leave a link down below and information cards if not check back it'll be here in a few days okay let's go on to the next meal now and this is my dinner plate. I've made one of my all-time favorite go-to keto dinners. I've got cauliflower mash with heaps of garlic and some cream for some extra fat. And I've made some silver side and it's got some beautiful fat on the side. So definitely a good low-carb, high-fat dinner to end my day of getting back into keto. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more low carb keto diet inspiration and we'll see you again soon. Bye!